This is Papo and Yo. Uh, I picked it up in the Steam sale at the weekend. It's 85% off, which makes it less than two quid. Um, it's not a new game, it came out in 2012. There was a uh, port as part of a humble bundle, I believe. Uh, perhaps, but it's not been available on Steam for Linux until uh, basically three weeks ago. Now, I've not played it uh, all the way through, or even very far really. About half an hour in, I think. But you, uh, there is uh, some sort of deeper issues about uh, alcoholism and, and family abuse and stuff that the game uh, addresses. I've not really got to any of that bit yet. It's a South American setting, I guess. It's, it's a fantasy setting, evidently, but a fantasy South American setting. It's uh, yeah, really quite beautiful to look at. Well, I think, anyway. We're chasing that girl. There we go. And she's escaping us. So, aside from being, it being beautiful, it is uh, essentially a uh, puzzle platformer with environment puzzles and you discover these uh, sort of magical connection points and use them to activate activate parts of the environment and that's that's essentially how the puzzles work Right. Uh, I'll show you this box. So the hints for puzzles when you don't get them are in these boxes. There we go. So now you know. Let's remove the box. So these these sort of white chalk outline things indicate active uh, active magical switches if things are black then they're uh, inactive uh, usually then the switches to turn them on you do acquire some abilities uh, you know, quite soon in the game really to, uh, to uh, activate remote switches and things and some of the puzzles are are based on that sort of thing. Uh, here we go. I, like, I do like the sort of stacked on top of each other look of the houses. Like randomly, randomly. Looks like there's a football and you can kick the football. But I don't know if if that uh, that actually achieves anything. Uh, I suspect that yeah. This Brazilian developers, they just couldn't stomach having a game without football in it, probably. They're into their football, I think, the Brazilians. Right. So you also see these uh, little, little dolls. I don't think I can do anything with them. I've tried. But apparently there's, there's stuff that unlocks upon the second playthrough. Oops. Now we're trying to get over, the girl is sitting over there, look. So we're always going to see where she is. Yeah, so there's another, there's another sort of teddy bear thing down there. Again, can't can't do anything with it, as far as I can tell. I've tried a few times. There are, there are apparently on the second playthrough you collect hats for doing particular things. I've not managed the first playthrough yet, so. So let's not worry about that. Yep. 
bit of string. I'm always handy. You always run off again, I think. Yes. Let's go and pull a bit of string. There we go. Lo oh, and behold, a staircase. So all the puzzles are basically like this. You manipulate the environment in, in this sort of uh, magical way. Escaping us again. Apparently, she knows all the best shortcuts through walls and stuff. Let's go and see. She's not here on the other side. Nice graffiti. Uh, look, there she is again. And once again, she escapes us. We have to get to the other side. And this is one of the things where the boxes that look like houses actually represent. We just go and pump that down here. There we go. See what happens? So the uh, boxes are avatars for, uh, for uh, items you can manipulate. Now clearly the world is magical because you wouldn't be able to pick up a house. Not for realsies. But you see, there we go. I built myself a bridge of houses. Now there is an achievement uh, crossing that bridge using only three of the houses, which I actually got just a little while ago, but it is uh, it is a bit of a pain in the ass to get. I was recording at the time and got sidetracked into doing it, and you know I spent half an hour precisely positioning the houses to get it right. So I will not attempt to do it as part of the video. Uh, we uh, have a new puzzle. There we go. New puzzles related to moving houses with keys. So, now, once again, the goal is catch up with a little girl. So, if we go over here, we shall see that that's a pressure pad that opens the gate, which is just what she was waiting for. Why she needs to wait, I don't know. But then we'll see if we try to run across. We are we are trapped because there isn't a house there. Fortunately, fortunately, we can manipulate these houses by flicking these switches. Bye bye little house. Toddler knock over there. This one will toggle off over here and wink. That activates a set of stairs. So you might be able to see the puzzle that uh, fitted together now. See, there's a switch on top of there. Switch here. This one's going to move that house over there. And then we can run up the stairs. Oh, and jump. We'll pull that house back. We pull that house back. Put that house back. Put this house back. And you'll see now, we once again have a little bridge of houses. 
Okay, opens. We run. We run. Ooh. And I'm just going to carry on for a few minutes longer. Because uh, we'll get to what I think is a more significant part of the plot. I did do all these puzzles. Uh, Go. Plug in. So we have a stairway. We need to put the stairs back together. In the next section, you uh, start running down sewer pipes and have and get the remote control there. Uh, control that uh, robot thing which uh, introduces some new puzzles. Alright here we have another one of our another one of our box houses. So there's a switch over there I'm heading for a look. And that switch is gonna bring the ladder down. to get to the ladder. So let's move the house. There we go. And this is the this is the this is where we get to, I think, the end of section one. So I'll just show you this bit. It's a bit weird. There we go. So it's the same city, but it's dark. We're moving in slow motion. We're following the line. There's a car. Frozen in the act of speeding through the wet streets. There's a girl, girl in the car. There's a boy in the car. It's us. That's what it is. So, I'm not entirely sure what to make of that at this point. She doesn't like as much. And here's our little robot friend. And all of a sudden we're wearing different clothes, but we have a robot. Uh, get back to Monster. So we'll not we'll not carry on at this point. Um, the robot is what lets you do double jumping and also turn on remote switches. It's uh, so obviously some more and different puzzles to uh, come. It is uh, quite a lovely game. Oh, I said 2012, but it looks really pretty. Uh, the platforming to me seems uh, mostly, you know, tight enough. Puzzles are they're not too difficult. I've worked. I've worked them all out so far. I mean, obviously, I've sped through it here, having done most of them twice already. Um, but you know, I think I think uh, younger children could definitely get something out of the game, or play it with younger children. And uh, generally, it's quite a pleasant game. You should check it out on Steam in the sale at the moment for less than two quid. Uh, Papo and Yo Native on Linux.